the heart was not in the right place. Is there anything that they can even do to fix it? We got married uh, six years ago on the beach in North Carolina. Yeah, when we found out we were pregnant, we were very excited. Yep. At a routine 20-week ultrasound, Caitlin and Brian Veets were given some shocking news. Uh, we went for the post-meeting with the, with the doctor. He showed us the silhouette of the lungs and where the heart would normally sit between the lobes of the left lung. And then he pointed like three inches to the left and showed us where her heart had grown and that's when I said it out loud her heart is outside of her chest. She had probably one of the if not the most rare congenital heart defect and that is a defect called ectopia cordis. We went online and half don't even make it to birth so yeah there was a very slim chance of her making it. The only chance you have of treating this successfully is having an integrated approach where you can gather experts. Specialists at the Mayo Clinic used fetal MRI pictures to create a 3D model of Kieran before she was born in what was a medical first. They printed these out layer by layer over 30 hours and so you can see the heart is entirely outside of her body and her liver was also outside. Kieran was born in an emergency C-section with a team of 60 doctors gathered to stabilize her. Due to the acute nature of her condition, there was a high chance that she might not survive the operation at all. I had agreed not to hold her so that she could go straight into surgery. I got a glimpse of her as they walked by and it took it took every part of me not to call out and say, hold on, wait, I changed my mind. That was really hard. In just five hours, surgeons had placed Kieran's heart back inside her chest. And one week later, Caitlin was finally able to hold her baby for the first time. It takes a team of at least four people to lift your baby into your arms because they have to move the breathing tube and they have to make sure we don't lose wires and pick lines and tubes and drains and such and so um, I think I held her for maybe 20 minutes before she got irritated and had to go back to her bassinet. Are you excited? <laughs> Are you ready? It ended up being five months before she could finally make the journey back home. Now 18 months old, doctors are delighted with Kieran's progress, but she will need much more surgery in the future. With her heart being outside, her lungs kind of filled the space that normally would have been taken up by the heart. So when they put the heart back in, the so lungs just didn't just, have yeah, enough just, room to fully like expand. Pies. So they put the trach in. The trach is an artificial opening into Kieran's throat, which helps her to breathe. So if we don't deflate the cuff before we put the Casimir valve on, then she can't breathe. Just take off the Velcro from one side. Bring the loose end around. It'll come out, we're guessing go. in the next three to six months. And it's all dependent on her, how she handles the next few steps. It's uncharted territory. Despite allowing her to get more oxygen, the trach has meant Kieran has been primarily fed through a tube since birth and has only just started learning to talk. As a result, she's now seeing an expert to help her catch up with other children her age. We were initially working with her feeding. She is just starting to eat, so we're trying to get her to play with the food, to taste the food. Good job. What do you think of that feel? What do you think? We also are working on um, communication. Being a little girl, her throat is very small, so we don't have a lot of air volume that can go through there. But she did an awesome job today with a yeah and really nice volume. She hasn't heard her voice or played with her voice except for the last couple months. 
Caitlin and Brian are raising money online and with local fundraisers to pay for Kieran's medical bills and are hopeful for her future. Yeah, she should have a, a pretty normal life. Be a normal kid, yeah. live a regular life. Scrape her yeah. knees, get dirty, yeah. ride her bike, play games, join choir, <laughs> run for student council. <laughs> You know, get a driver's license. <laughs> Become a cardiac surgeon. <laughs> kisses. Yeah, kisses. We want to uh, raise awareness about children born with uh, congenital heart disease. And one of the nice things, too, about this this whole ordeal is that we know that we're helping the medical field yeah. and families in the future.